Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and this is a quick orchid update on my return from holidays. So hello everybody and welcome to the video and this is going to be a quick one because I'm just back from holidays and that means that my orchids haven't been watered for two weeks so I need to get to watering them and they're mostly assembled here at the kitchen sink although I'm kind of watering them in various rooms of the house just as it goes along but I thought I'd just share with you a couple of updates rather than make you know a proper formal video just a couple of quick updates so that you can see what's going on with them okay so the first thing I want to show you is my psychopsis which opened while I was away and isn't it a beauty absolutely lovely now I wish it would spread its wings just a little bit more so I could appreciate that flower just a little bit better but I shouldn't complain should I and this is the one that got stuck last year the first time the spike flowered and as we know with psychopsis they continue to flower from the same spike for a long long time so this one has obviously sorted itself out as usual the name of the plant is going on the screen and doesn't look at him he looks like a little samurai warrior huh. But I have other psychopsis news because right beside this one is this joke plant. Now, why am I calling this one a joke plant? I'm putting the psychopsis name up on the screen. And this is a particular variety that does not have the antennae that the first one has. So that's why it looks a bit different. But the real reason why it looks a bit different is because it has opened upside down. So look, there's the bib up here. Well, it's a bit difficult to spread them out and show you, but yeah, complete joke plant. Imagine opening upside down. So why did this joke plant open upside down? And actually it's my fault because it had produced this long, long spike and the spike was kind of leaning to one side so I thought I'd be clever and I'd turn it away from the light so that it would begin to point back again. However, <laughs> I guess the bud had already been formed at that stage and or the orientation of the spike defines which way the flower is open because when it opened it was upside down. So what I'm going to do now is allow it to the spike to lean the way it's going to and um, when I place it now towards the window I'm going to place it away from the light like that if you get what I mean so that the spike will begin to point back this way and hopefully my next flower is going to be the right way up anyway just had to share that joke with you because it's it's very silly and it, it's it is very silly and it's a lovely gorgeous deep orange perhaps deeper than this one here so it would have been nice if it had showed itself off but so it goes. Okay, next thing I want to show you here is Rodrigasia, which has opened while I was on holiday. And we have lots of flowers. We have these ones here. And we have this one here. Another spike. And around the other side we have that spike. That spike there. So lots and lots of flowers. Looking very well. Surely it needs a repot, but it seems to be doing well so far. And let me see if I can get any scent of strange bad scent off it because, as you will recall, when Bumblebee was here, she mentioned that she thought it it smelled a bit like sausages. And yeah, well, anyway, let's have a sniff. Well, I stuck my nose right into it and. I must say it's not a pleasant scent. I don't know what to say it is. Somebody said plasticky, but that's not what I get. I get something deeper, duller, and more unpleasant than plastic. So 
yeah, not a, a nice scent, but very pretty flowers and a very nice habit. It's a super habit, hasn't it? I think so. So, I don't know, is there one last thing I want to show you? We've got some uh, flowers still in bloom, like the Rene Marquez, looking fantastic. Oh yes, here, this encyclia opened while I was away. Now, it's not a first flowering, but isn't it a glorious orange colour? Really, really gorgeous. Almost red. Now we've got three flowers open and two buds still to come. So that was a nice welcome surprise when I came back. Although the psychopsis kind of stole the show. But before I went away, I had another one open, which I never got around to sharing with you. I'm just moving past the Phalaenopsis there, which is still going strong. Gorgeous one. We have Lycaste. And this is Tea Punch, one of the ones I got from the nursery in France. And it's in flower. And he looks like an old man with very, very heavy eyebrows. Don't you think? These bits here, they look like eyebrows. <laughs> But it's a nice one, and I'm very glad to have it in my collection. Okay, I did say this is just going to be a really quick update, and a quick update it is. Oh, did I show you uh, this path? This one, the second flower opened. I think maybe I've only shown you when the first one opened a while ago. But there's two open now, and they're both looking really good. Um, Deeper pink, I think is the name. And that's, that's doing well. And everything seems to be doing quite well. My daughter took good care of my plants while I was away, although she wasn't watering the orchids. So, yeah, just keeping up the humidity levels. Okay, thanks for watching, and check back for some more orchid updates coming soon, as well as other plant videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.